I decided I'm going to make two more videos tonight. Um, this is very similar to the last uh, maple worksheet I made, but this time I'm going to look at the geometric and the negative binomial random variables. And these are the two random variables that are in the maple worksheets that you're doing for quiz five. So um, there's also a nice set of lecture notes I put in Angel that have more examples of the geometric and negative binomial. But uh, here are a couple more that I picked out of the book. Um, let's see, the probability is 0.25 that a randomly chosen light bulb is defective. At first I was like, how could that happen? But believe me, I have a lot of light bulbs in this bin and sometimes I don't separate the good and the bad ones and I put the bad ones back in with the good ones. So anyway, the probability is a quarter that a randomly chosen bulb is defective. So what I'm going to do is we're going to screw a light bulb in a lamp. If it works, we're going to leave it. Otherwise, we're going to keep trying bulbs until we get a good one. Um, what's the probability that it takes us um, at least three bulbs to get a good one? And on average, um, how many bulbs are we going to have to try before we find a good one? That's the expected value or average. So what do we know? We know the uh, probability of success here is a unfortunately a defective is 0.25 and I want to know the probability um, of actually uh, let me see of finding a good bulb so actually I'm going to change that I'm going to go with 0.75 because um, we want to try the number of ties until we find a good bulb. So that's why I'm saying it's really nice to always label what X is. Let X equal the number of light bulbs tried until we find a good one. And the probability of finding a good one, which is a uh, non-defective, is 0.75. So our probability mass function, I'll build it here first. This is P of X. It's a geometric, so you have to imagine what's happening is you have um, a failure, failure, failure. So your first x minus 1 tries are failures, and then you finally get that success on the last trial. And the success could occur on the first or the second or the third, and this always goes to infinity. So this is a geometric, 0.25 raised to the x x minus 1 times 0.75. Let's make sure he's valid. So sum p of x, x equal 1 to infinity. And he is. And then we're trying to find the probability of, um, what's the probability at least three bulbs are required until we find a good one. So three or more. So let's sum p of x. What's the probability it takes three or more light bulbs to find a good one? 0.0625, which kind of makes sense because um, I would hope, well, I would hope we would find a good one by then. Um, if you think about it on average, so what I put, what is the expected number of bulbs that we try until we find a good one, where the probability of success is 0.75. So this is what I was saying in the lecture notes. It was very nice. The, uh, the mean, well, expected value of a um, geometric is 1 over the probability of success. So on average, 1.333 until we find a good one. Um, if you don't believe me, um, this is the formula for expected value. I mean, you don't have to remember all these formulas. You can always just go back to this is, you know, the definition of expected value, p of x times x and sum over the support. So I think that's a pretty nice example. Um, yeah, there's a geometric. Geometric, always the mean is 1 over the probability of success. So, um, And the, the mass function is always set up this way. So many trials that are failures, and the last one is the success. So let's go down to another geometric. Um, so suppose that 15% of the population in the town are senior citizens. 15% senior citizens. Um, let X be the number of citizens who enter a mall until a senior arrives. So let, so I'll just kind of write X is the number of citizens. Okay. Number of citizens until a senior. Find the probability mass function. Okay, so 
um, let's build it up here, P of X is equal to fail, 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 then success. So fail would mean a non-senior citizen time all of the previous ones, all the previous X minus ones are non-seniors, and then the last one is a senior, and the senior could come in at any trial. So um, that's the probability mass function. So P of X is 0.85 raised to the X, X minus 1 times 0.15. I won't sum it. We know it's going to be good. Um, let's see. Assume that each person who enters the mall is a random person. On average, how many citizens until a senior arrives? So 1 divided by... You see 0.15 because that's the probability of success a senior arriving so 6.67 on average 6.67 people until a senior arrives and then what is the probability it will take at least eight customers before a senior appears so some p of x at least eight eight or more until we see a senior we expect them to come in at about six seven trials so okay um so hopefully that makes a sense. I mean, you see again that that same format. Um, all the previous are fails, and the last is success, and the supports one to infinity always. Okay. So here is I went negative binomial. The only difference here, as you can see, what is it probably the eighth patch in zero fourteen is the third one having hazel eyes. So the difference is I'm not asking how many trials until the first is success, but how many trials until the rth success. So in this problem, um, r is equal to 3, number of trials to the third success, and probability of success is having hazel eyes. And let me see, was it probably the eighth person, but I'll worry about that later. I'll let x equal the number of passengers arriving until the third hazel eye person. Good enough. People are arriving independently, which is kind of hard, right? Because if they're all in the same family, then the probability changes. And So anyway, P of X. I, I like to build this one from scratch. Um, so what does this mean? The third one, well, the very, very last one has to be hazel eyes, right? So in the first so many, so binomial, um, how do we want to say this, number of passengers, so um, uh, and choose R, no I want to say X choose uh, R. Hey, again, I just stopped it because I'm like, oh, I gotta, I'm not doing this very nicely. So let, let me show you the way, the way I would think about it. So I want the number of trials until we get the third hazel eye person. So let's just figure H is hazel and B is something other than hazel, like brown, black, something. So this, oops, that doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, it actually does. Brown, 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 hazel, brown, brown, hazel, hazel. Oops, hazel. Um, this would mean the third hazel occurs on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth trial actually. But I think the thing to notice is the first seven trials, um, we're going to have two hazels, and the last one always has to be a hazel to stop. So it's kind of like that problem we did earlier with like LeBron James shooting, you know, foul shots. You keep doing something until the last one has to be a success and you're done. So here's another like it could just be B B. H B B B B B B B B H B B B B H. So notice in the previous, all the previous, if these are X trials, the previous X minus one trials um, have uh, two hazels, and then the last trial has to be a hazel. So I, I guess I don't memorize formulas. I just try to figure out where they come from. So I want binomial uh, X minus one choose R minus one. So what I'm saying is in the first x minus one trials we should have r minus one only two of these be um, successful. So then we would need um, 
times uh, 1 minus P. Um, let me see. These are the ones that are, well, maybe I'm going to start this way first. I know I need P raised to the um, R minus 1 successes. Right, so of those trials, um, p to the r minus 1, so two of them are successes. So probability of success rate is a 2. And the rest of them are failures. So how many trials are there? There's x minus 1, so I want to say x minus 1 minus uh, r minus 1. And then the last one to me has to be a success. So let's write this nicely. Uh, this is... Uh, binomial uh, x minus 1, choose r minus 1, times p, now notice I have here uh, p to the r minus 1, and I have over here p raised to the 1, so together those will be p raised to the r, and then this other part will come out to be 1 minus p, raised to do a little subtraction, the ones will cancel, this will just be x minus r. So that's the form that I have in the nulls, and then x, I can't have the r success until at least the r trial, so this will be support starts at r, r plus 1, r plus 2, and then goes to infinity. Okay, I don't know that I did very well, I'm making you understand that, so let's, um, let's go ahead and do this example. Um, suppose a 20% of, let's get this, let's get rid of this so we can see 20% of a group of people have hazel eyes was probably the eighth passenger. So let's spell P of X is binomial X minus 1, choose uh, 3 minus 1, so that would be 2 times uh, probability of success is hazel eyes raised to the rth power, which is 3, because I have to have 3 successes overall, and then 1 minus p, which is 0 0.8, raised to the x minus r. Okay, so we sum this guy from x equal, um, I can't start six, having 3 hazel-eyed people till 3 people, so this has to be 1. And then um, expected value, how many people on average do we expect before we see the third success? So sum, p of x times x, and you probably saw in the maple there's a nice, um, what do you want to say, there's a nice expected value that I can just use formulas, right? So um, we were asking for the third success, so it should be 3, um, 3 divided by p or r divided by p is the mean for a negative binomial. So maybe we should try this again, because I don't know that I uh, really helped too much on that one. Let's go to this last one. A certain basketball player makes a foul shot with probably 0.545. So probability of success uh, equals 0.45. What's the probability that his first basket occurs on the sixth shot? So this is number of trials till first success. That's geometric. So, um, number of trials for the first success, so 0 0.55, there should be x minus 1 failures, and then the last is a uh, success. And what is the probability that his first occurs on the sixth? So, I'm just going to sum from 6 to 6, or I could substitute. So, there's a probability he makes his first shot on the his first foul shot on the sixth shot. Um, here's a negative binomial question. What's the probability his fourth basket occurs on his tenth shot? So in here R is four, because I want to know um, number of trials until the fourth success. So let's see, R is equal to four, and probability of success is still 0.45. So let's build the uh, negative binomial p of x is, um, let's see, binomial x minus 1 choose uh, 3 times uh, 
5 raised to the r, which is 4, because I have to have 4 successes, times 0.55 raised to the um, x minus r. And uh, sum, well, we know what that should be. It should start at 4. He can't make 4 shots before 4. But what was the question? Um, his fourth shot occurs on 10th shot. So sum, so probability occurs on the 10th, exactly the 10th shot. This, yeah, there you go. Um, how many shots do we expect him to take on average um, before his fourth success? Uh, 8.89. Okay, that's interesting, which would be, again, sum of P of X times X from X from 4 to infinity. This is number of trials till the fourth success. Yeah, see either which way. So I hope this helps, and I think I'll make one for the, for the geometric. Sorry for the little mix-up in my video. See you soon.